Hey folks, Lawrence Jeffel here, president of the Florida Real Estate Investor Association, bringing you another edition of The Fan, the full reaction news, and we want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. The holiday season is here. Well, actually, it's been here, but now Christmas is right around the corner. So we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas um, and uh, Happy New Year. But we'll be back before the New Year, so we'll wish you that next week. Uh, anyway, what's going on in the news? There's gold in the malls. Did you know that? Yeah, how about that? There is a company that put out a uh, ATM that spits out gold. Yeah, it's in the Boca Town Center Mall. Um, so if you want to check it out, you can go get uh, a unique gift. It's at the uh, Boca Town Center Mall. All right, uh, real news here. Daily Business Review reporting a few things here. The government is pushing to keep people in their homes. All right, Geithner reporting that, listen, we're doing everything we can. We're putting pressure, downward pressure on the interest rates to keep them low. Um, we'll tell you a little bit about where the interest rates are going right now. Um, here's a, some things that they talk about. Their ability, the Treasurer's ability to spend new bailout funds for the central foreclosure um, effort has expired in October, all right? So they, they, they run out of that, so what they're doing is they're making new programs. You know, we're trying to get new programs to get borrowers in there, especially those that are unemployed. So try to help them out. Uh, $30 billion in taxpayer funds on the HAMP program. Only about $4 billion will likely be spent on that program. So that one didn't go too well. Um, uh, the report said that the two-year-old HAMP program won't reach its original goals, and I think we reported on this last week. Um, the, the Treasury failed to properly analyze the program. It, uh, it is nearly impossible to determine whether it is a success, the report said. Well, I don't think it's the success that they wanted it to be. Again, you're going after banks trying to get them to modify loans that they can't. They're under an agreement, to, especially the ones that are backed by mortgage-backed securities. So, um, you know, so much for that. Are foreclosures dropping? Well, the report says yes, but I'll tell you why. All right, November foreclosure numbers, they were at the lowest levels in 18 months for foreclosures. All right, but what happened? Well, the foreclosure freezes by the uh, banks that are going through uh, some litigation problems uh, and improperly handling evictions. So that's why you're seeing a drop in foreclosures. Um, banks year-to-date have re repossessed about 980,000 homes. So... Are probably on track to break the million mark uh, by December, even though they have slowed down quite a bit. Um, the 2011 outlook does look to be the same due to the weak economy, high unemployment, and tight lending standards. All right. Uh, also, there's five million homes that are 60 days or more past due. So some of these are getting ready to see the foreclosure process. So they'll be adding to the whole bundle. Uh, again, um, opportunities are out there. Don't let these numbers freak you out. Unemployment, hey, start your own business. Do something. There's, there's something that people need. Get out there and do something, you know, especially for those of you who are sitting back. You know, what, you've got skills. Take them to the marketplace. There's people out there that need what you do, all right? For those of you who are in the real estate investing, you know, there's opportunity galore here. We've been talking to you about international buyers. They're out there. You know, go find these folks. You know, do what you got to do. And you can do so much marketing for free on the internet. So there's ways to do things that you never thought possible before. All right, mortgage rates. We, talk, we told you we we're going to tell you about them. 30 year rate, uh, fixed rate has risen to 4.83%. Okay, now Geithner said they're putting pressure to keep this down. They tried to buy a whole bunch of uh, bonds, but it didn't seem to do anything. Uh, the 15 year fixed rate also rose to 4.17%. They were at 3.97, and now they're up past the threes into the fours. Uh, refinancing activity has dropped for the fifth straight week, so economists are a little bit concerned about that. This is the fifth straight week of uh, rising interest rates, so they're thinking people say, you know what, maybe I don't want to refinance. It's not as uh, lucrative as it looked like. Uh, housing starts are on the rise. Okay, yeah. Construction of single-family houses increased 6.9% uh, to a 465,000 rate, the highest level since April. All right. While permits also rose by 3% to uh, 416,000 level of applications in November. So signals that work may slow in coming months, uh, we'll see. Uh, now work on multifamily homes uh, such as townhomes and apartment buildings, they've dropped 9.1% to an annual rate of 90,000. This is their third consecutive decline and the lowest level since June. All right, the multifamily permits plunged 23%. To a level of 114,000. So, uh, for those of you in the multifamily arena, jump on whatever deals are out there because uh, they're going to be scarce. And guess what that means? When building restarts and you've got a good uh, uh, property working right, man, you your property is going to be mint. It's going to be worth a lot of money. 
All right, and builders are looking forward to 2011, but they believe that 2012 is going to be their banner year. They are excited about 2012. So good news. Good news there on the construction side. All right, the Palm Beach Post is reporting a few things. Uh, former Stern attorneys are suing Stern. Yeah, how about that? Um, they got they shafted people, now they're going to turn on and shaft Stern. Yeah, they're, they've hired a big-name attorney. These guys have made this the firm that they're hiring. They've made $530 million in in uh, litigation so these guys must know what they're doing uh yeah they're coming after them uh the lawyers uh they're suing stern his law firm and the gasp enterprises so they're going after everything they can uh why are they suing stern uh they buy vi for violating the workers adjustment and retraining notification act uh, which fails to give which they failed to give them 60 day notice of the massive layoffs that began in september so yeah they were at 1200 They've laid off, gosh, seven or 900 people there. So that was a lot of people in a very short span of time. So that's what they're going after for. Is there an attorney in the house? Have you seen what's going on in the foreclosure sales on, on the auctions? It's, it's crazy. Former uh, Stern cases, you know, uh, the ones that uh, David Stern's office was handling, have, uh, are still going uncontested at the courthouse online. Okay, so people that are get, think they're getting steals are really not deals because they haven't been following proper protocol uh, to be able to go through the sale, the foreclosure sale. So um, these people are really, you know, not getting the steals that they got. You know, it's two hundred dollar deals, one hundred fifty dollar deals, um, not happening. So just a mess. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, this is just gonna confuse people and just mess things up for a while. Uh, yeah, so tis the season, right? No deal. Anyway, all right, Miami Dolphins update. Oh, my gosh, is that a bear of a game to watch? Henny, another, I mean, more interceptions. Uh, I mean, and we lost to the Bills. They've got the worst run defense in the world. And we've got some great running backs. You know, how, how did we lose this game, you know? And, uh, I mean, even Golden Foot had a, d a bad day. You know, he missed all the field goals. He had four field goals. I think they were over 40 yards, all of them. Missed them all. Uh, but we can't blame him. Man has come through for us in the past like never before, and, and unfortunately the, the offense didn't come through for us again. So um, what are we going to do? we got a couple more games. we got the Lions here this, week, this weekend on 26th at 1 p.m., so see how they pull that through. Um, but uh, speaking of the Dolphins games, I don't know. We won't speak anymore about that. But anyway, what's going on at the Florida Rio? Hey, don't forget Real Estate Opportunities webinar every Tuesday with Sharon at 12.15 p.m., you can catch a replay at 32hrealty.com if you didn't get a chance to check it out. Hey, but don't be late. You don't want to be waiting until the, uh, the, 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 um, the recording because then the deal might have already been lost. Somebody was watching it live. <coughs> uh, the new Florida site coming soon. It should be up in the next day or so. So we are excited to launch the new site. So check it out, floridarea.com. Beautiful new site. Nicely. Nicely done. Uh, our elite conference calls on January 4th. So elite members, don't forget to register for the elite conference call on January 4th. And then our Don Juan socials are coming back. That's right. We are launching our new Don Juan socials in January. And our first one is the Tri Club social. For those of you who like to work out, uh, you're runner, biker, swimmer, whatever it is, you like health, nutrition, we're meeting at the Nature's Way Cafe on uh, Saturday morning, January 8th at 8 a.m. No cost to you. Just come on out and join us for that as we get together and um, just learn from one another about uh, what we like to do and take care of ourselves. And then on January 20th, our big premiere, double premiere extravaganza with Frank McKenney. Uh, that is January 20th. <clears throat> and then on Saturday, January 22nd, let's make a deal. Awesome workshop. People love it. It is one of the uh, top-rated workshops that we have. And then our elite membership is open up for a once-a-year once opening to register for that, to sign up. It's January 24th is our elite breakfast, and also Frank McKinney will be there as our keynote speaker. And then um, just a reminder here to renew your membership. As January 1, we do change our prices for membership, so you want to take advantage of renewing right now and uh, get a great discount on your membership before uh, the new year. All right, don't forget to follow us on uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, our floridablog.com. And uh, I think that's it. Well, that is the news. That is the news. Again, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. We look forward to seeing you at any one of our upcoming events. So take care. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, God bless. Hey, we gotta stop. Looking at the hands of the time we've been given it. This is all we got.
Reflecting, we gotta stop thinking if every second counts.